blimey friday comes round again really 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 quickly um as i mentioned last week we're going to look at layers of lace i have got and i sort of collected while we were in lockdown a massive collection of lace just looking for it everywhere i know people keep asking me where do i get everything from um i tend to look online there is um loads of stuff on instagram where people sell different sorts of things the linen garden is somewhere that i do get a lot of stuff from and loads of little vintage um sites and just keeping an eye out really i am really looking forward to going back to vintage fairs hopefully once they start opening up i've got a little bit of a bucket list of stuff that i'm wanting to go and find i'm just realizing i've not been very very organized today i've got all my lace and i forgot to get thread um all together so i'm not very very well organized today um i had a box that had in all my pale colored threads oh actually no we could use those because i've got those oh right okay let's go full on vintage i have a little box a handy packet of vintage threads that i've never used um that i, I can't even remember where i got these from mending cotton it shows you even look how to darn a hole on the back that's way cute right we'll use that there we go that was meant to be okay so we're going to do vintage lace layering up lots and lots of different bits of lace so you need to decide on a backing piece and when i was just going through all the bits and pieces i love collecting little placemats and stuff and i found this one that had this lovely little charm still attached to it and i just thought oh gosh that's just crying out to be used so i think i'm going to have this as my backing piece so i'm gonna to have to cut into it now i do know that a lot of people are it's like oh god i'm actually cutting into stuff the way i tend to look at it is that a lot of this stuff when i get it um people see it as junk it's usually in scrap baskets or at the local charity shops they don't think anybody will buy them and they just leave them on the side because I suppose really lots of people don't tend to use like lace tablecloths and things like that these days. However, I do have to say I do have some that I have bought that I do use them as tablecloths because they are just too beautiful to cut up. But I just see that I'm giving them another life. I'm reusing them. They're not ending up in landfill or anything like that. I am actually using them. Okay, I'm not cut that very straight at the top. There we go, just follow the warp and weft. There we go. Okay, so I've now got my backing piece. So today's going to be really, really simple. Just have a look at your lace. Now, it doesn't have to be vintage lace, and it doesn't all have to be lace. You just need to include some lace. So you might have lots, you might not have a lot you might have brand new lace um you could have some lace on some clothing i've even got little bits of tatting i had wondered about popping some tatting in because it's bright green i'm not too sure but then i had bought these tiny little um tatting flowers that are so pretty so they might end up on there as well so like we've done in the past, a little bit like we've done with fabric, we're just going to start layering up. So I've got a little bit of the lace that I used last week. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. I'm not going with that one. I've got different colours as well, different shades of bits of lace. These ones are from the Linen Garden. Um, it's on Instagram. I think I've got a card. Yeah, here we go. Linen garden. Oh, oh crikey. I'm losing everything here. Yes, it's the linen garden. This is crazy um, paving ribbon, um, which is just really cute. So, we're going to layer our lace. The lace usually is done, it's quite symmetrical. 
so I am going to cut pieces and I just want to start just layering just playing with different bits of pieces you get really really fine lace then you get crocheted which is thicker but again still really really nice and you get the most beautiful shapes and look at that that's just gorgeous oh right we're at the end <sighs> okay i think this as well is going to be such a lovely way to use lace because i know i'm i'm really bad at I just have it in cupboards and baskets and boxes and it's really pretty but it's not getting used and I think that's one of the things that I'm loving about this tag challenge I've got lots of little bits and pieces that I've kept and I've saved because they're just really really pretty and I'm using them now oh look at that one I can't remember where these ones were from. Look at the top of that, that is so cute. Oh my goodness me. I'm in heaven. There we go. Give that a bit of a wiggle so it stays flat. One, two, three, four. That's going to look really cute at the top end. I took that under there. <gasps> look at that. That is so pretty. I know that the second everybody starts doing these tags, I'm going to start getting my like, I need to go shopping for stuff. This is one of my favourites, this one on this card. These were from, I think, eBay or a boot sale or something. But this one is my absolute favourite. It's, um, I'll put it on something dark. Pop it on a bit of fabric so you can see it a little bit better. Um, it's the prettiest, prettiest um, little stitch. I think this was an eBay find. I think and it's one of those things I keep using because it it's on a card. I keep thinking oh, I've still got loads, I've still got loads. And it's like, oh my God, when this runs out, I'm going to be so sad. It's like when you buy bits and pieces and you buy like a meter's worth and then you really like it. And then you go back on and you can't find it anymore. Okay. So on there I've got the backing piece. So I've got one, two, three, four, five bits so far. And you can go as bonkers as you want with this. I would like to put some of these on. Even if it's just a little one. Just there. Oh, that's so cute. And then it's just going to be really, really simple, the stitching. I'm just going to do tiny stab stitches so that you can't really see it. So with my threads, little threads, look at them. They're so cute. This is a really, really fine um threads it says one end of two ply um it's mending cotton from Hemlinway and bartlett oh in connecticut in usa i know quite a lot of you are in america so this was a little vintage set that i'd got so the, the it's really fine you could just use machine um cotton for this and you're gonna want fairly fine needle there we go so that's what I've got laid out so far okay so again little stabbing stitch and just slowly build up your layers. This is where I've got to so far. 
don't want to put too many on to start off with because you've got to lift some of them back off to be able to stitch them down so i've got to lift that one off i'm just going to move those to the side so that i can remember what i'm doing pop a little pin in just to hold it in place and then all i'm going to do like i say because it's really delicate is a little stab stitch so just running along little stitch and I've got some bits hanging off the edge I'll decide afterwards whether or not they're going to just get wrapped around my tag or if I decide to trim them so it's just a tiny little stab stitch with this one it's the lace that's going to be the star of the show, so to speak. Okay, I feel like you've got to work really quietly because <laughs> it's very delicate. So there we go, that's the first one. Now I don't want that really to lift off. So all I'm going to do is, again, just a little bit further down. Oops. I'll just do a few little stitches because some of this I'm stitching into the actual lace. On the back it's not so easy. What's happened there? I've got a knot. Um. so I don't need a lot of stitches with this one just some really delicate ones don't pull your tension too hard because you'll end up um, rucking it because we're actually putting it onto your tag it's all fine Okay, so that was that one. There we go. So then I'm going, that one's going next to it. So let's get it central. Pop a little pin just to hold it in place and then some of them like this has got a lovely little edging strip down it so you can use your edging strip as your sort of guide for your stitching so i'm going to do a tiny little running stitch with this one it does feel like you've got to be really quiet very still it's like the breather weeks that we've done in the past let's take a breath enjoy the moment okay now when I get to the top I know that that one I think I tucked it just underneath so I can double whammy this one tuck it underneath Want it so the little holes just there. Let's grab a pin, let's pop it in place. Really delicate. I'm not the most delicate person. So this one's taking a little bit of concentration. Like I said at the beginning, um, it doesn't all have to be lace. So this one, I'm just going to stab in stitches to going to go over one and then down into the other one. It could just be you have a piece of lace that you absolutely adore and you just want to showcase it. So you might just get yourself a piece of really beautiful fabric, maybe a dark fabric, and then 
just stitch the lace onto it. It might be that you, I don't know, you could be a lace maker or somebody that does tatting or even crochet. You might decide to make all the bits. Give yourself an extra challenge. Okay. So this is all I'm going to do is just carry on just building this up so that it fits on my tag and it will get glued and stitched. So I've made this one so it fits the tag. I can't really see the tag and I will decide whether or not um, I trim or I might actually wrap those round and I might even put a piece of lace on the back instead of writing on it this week. Maybe if I've got something. So that's our next tag which is tag 22. I'm going to write that on so I know what I'm doing. 22 and I can't wait to see what you end up producing again I'll put um, pictures on afterwards like I have done each week so I hope everybody has fun playing around with their lace and showcasing it and I really can't wait to see what everybody does see you next week love and hugs bye